when you have a workers' compensation claim, you have an employee who's worried about, about numerous things because it's their livelihood. They need an attorney to assist them in all facets because they could possibly have a disability that could be a career-ending injury. They have obligations. They have, more often than not, a family to support. What you're going to have a right to is 66 and two-thirds of your average weekly wage. Uh, this basically is a form of compensation that kind of addresses your net pay, and, and that is why they use 66 and two-thirds of your salary. Your medical expenses are covered, uh, that being your doctor bills. Uh, these sometimes can be disputed also. Your mileage to and from your providers, your medical providers, also prescriptions, mileage back and forth from your pharmaceutical, and any other type of medical related cost that arose from the injury. Physical therapy is covered, rehabilitation, vocational rehabilitation is widely used simply because oftentimes someone is injured on the job and they cannot perform the duties they once were capable of performing and what they're trained to do. So therefore, they have to go through a vocational rehabilitation in order to try to get themselves into a position where they are going to another area of work. You cannot apply for Social Security benefits for 30 months, or if you do apply for Social Security benefits, you are awarded Social Security benefits, they can offset your workers' compensation award from your Social Security package. Therefore, you have to have certain language in your, social, in your workers' compensation award in order to preserve those particular rights once your award is given by the Industrial Commission. If you have a claim or you're not sure you have a claim, give me a call. I can help you through the process.